I spent my New Year's with my lights trying to take the ultimate step. You can hear off a lot of people that there's some sort of bullshit with the Wi-Fi in these. They're good lights, generally speaking, they're good lights, but they kind of um, teach you to do what you really should do with LED lights. There's, there's a bit of a deal with LED lights when you get them, and I did it too when I when I had an empty tank, luckily, that you, you can't leave them alone. People basically learn the hard way, <laughs> especially when you've been used to... I was always used to T5. Um, but when you get something that's so fiddly and so customizable, you sort of sit there and go, I wonder what the tank would look like with only the UVs on or only the royal blue or just red or just green, this, that and the other. What's everything like on full beam? What's everything like, you know, just 1% on everything, which looks actually pretty cool. Um, so stuff like that. So, But these lights, because the Wi-Fi in them is so shit, you you learn to leave them alone because if you start messing with them and they decide they've got to do an update or you've got shit internet or some sort of thing happens sometimes these lights they just don't cooperate and you just you know you'll be stuck with them off or stuck with them on or something like that i've i've had these lights about three years and i've suffered all kinds of different bullshits with them and it's always when there's got to be some sort of um update or something like that like they're good lights that's the only thing that holds them back that's literally the single thing that holds them back so basically for about a year these lights have been however i had them on uh when i had just basically lps in, in the last the previous time i set this tank up because i didn't want to mess around with the routers or anything else i just left them so as soon as they get a connection they'll just go back to their previous setting and they'll just carry on as they were so I just left it like that. We had a different router. The whole lifetime of that router was about six months, uh, nine months. Not messed with them. Except for the initial uh, connection, which if I remember, I was really, really uh, frustrated. And then about um, three weeks or so ago, we got a new router because we just got fiber optic or whatever it's called in the area. So we upgraded to that. And, but still, I just left them alone. If I didn't, if I didn't have to mess with them, then that was grand. We had a power cut, and everything came back on. Everything shut off for literally seconds. Everything came back on, except for those two lights. And it got to about half eleven at night. I was absolutely knackered, and I just sort of give up bothering to try anymore. It's just like ah, lights off. It doesn't matter if they're off. I'll mess with it in the morning. I'll figure it out. Now I came downstairs about. 1am to get some water I'll come in here I was walking down the stairs and I saw a light at the bottom of the stairs I came in here and the, these lights they weren't just on but they looked like they were on full beam like the settings had also changed something had changed I could never get on to actually find out before I did what I did but they, they definitely looked like they are on full beam spent another hour or so trying to sort them out got to bed, couldn't sleep, thinking about it it was like oh, how can I do this, messing with them on the phone just trying to shut them off and Eventually, I did go to sleep. Got up about eight o'clock or something this morning and been messing with them all day, trying to figure it out. I couldn't access them. I couldn't access anything. I couldn't get on to um, get all of the IP addresses and stuff like that that I had to mess with. It was a lot of fucking around. It really was a lot of messing around. And eventually, what I had to do, which also took me a while to figure out, to be honest, was do a, a factory reset which I'll link in, this, in the description how to do it. But like I was getting a lot of conflicting information on what to do as well, so I got a lot of different people sort of confusing me and stuff like that. I got quite a lot of help from another human. So, Tony Rogers and Kyle Kaminita. Kyle Kaminita. Anyway, 
Kyle, I'm sure I probably butchered your name, so fellow, welcome to the Your Name Gets Fucking Butchered Club. Jack Mamon be France, that's how you pronounce it. So, those two really, they've, they've basically tagged along with me for ages, putting up on my bullshit. I was getting really fucking wound up. I get, I get angry over silly things. Anyway, I was just about on the verge of, I started by the idea of just selling them and trying to buy more lights because I've, I theoried that it was just something to do with the uh, Wi-Fi was too far away. My, my route is up in the snake room, which is upstairs. This is down, it's literally in opposite corners of the building. And then I, I got to the point where if they weren't going to connect soon, they were just going to be over the shoulder, like, and whatever happens. But uh, they sort of helped me through it. They definitely helped me think and stuff like that and get around it, all the little problems. Tony Rogers give me some links and stuff, which is the exact same links that I'm going to give you guys if you need them. Just on how to do a factory reset. Off the top of my head, see if I can remember how to do it. Got to unhook everything take everything apart I just set them up on the table plugged them back in there's some tiny a tiny little uh, reset button on the back of both of those lights but bear in mind there's like a there's a little hole which looks like what one of the old school reset buttons would normally look like Do you know it's like a little hole where you think oh you got to poke a toothpick or something in there um, but that's not it it's the one next to it that looks like a little light that's actually the button so it's kind of hard to press in but pressing in for something like seven seconds and you'll see the a little light on the back of it go through like a cycle of um, colours and stuff like it will go teal, green, blue, red um, and it will go through different variants of them all but a lot of people were saying you have to you have to hold your finger down until it flashes quite quickly uh, green and red but it turns out that was kind of wrong what I had to do and what you should do is when you when you go to start trying to reset it, get it down till it goes solid red and then let go. And it'll stay red, stay red. It'll go through its cycle that way. Like I said, it'll be in, in the description exactly what you need to do. But bear in mind, this is reducing the lights back to their square one, as if you got them kind of new or whatever. So you're gonna have to import all your data again. I, you hopefully you guys don't have to do this if you go through this bullshit. But I had to I had to literally delete everything and start again from scratch. Like I had to input all the data, um, re-download the app and all this different shit. And when, to be honest with you, once I figured it out, it was quite quick. But it was just the figuring out that was pissing me off. So hopefully, if you're in the same boat, you find this <laughs> find this video and maybe I'll be able to help you. Um, but the back on now. There's no schedule, this is just what I've put it on to get some light back on the tanks. It's all been in dark all day. To be honest with you, when I first turned the light on, I had some really, really good polyp extension. So <laughs> that's because I've been in the dark. A lot of SPS uh, put their polyps right out in the dark. If any of you are thinking of getting the uh, Aqua Illuminations Hydras things, then uh, what I'll do is I'll record my screen right now and come up with a real quick um schedule or hopefully get a preset on so we'll try and do that right, so we're going to go on to our my ai app and it'll come this is this is just what i've got it set up uh right now so what you want to do is it's quicker okay real quick just see if we've got any presets which is that little s star in the bottom uh, right corner select the preset and there's fuck all there, that's good. <laughs> I think I had three or four saved, so they're all gone. To be honest with you, I probably wouldn't use them again anyway. I quite like making new ones if I um if ever I need to. So we'll click on easy setup. And it'll give you this little graph in the bottom bottom left corner. So we're gonna set our sunrise, which we're gonna go for about nine. Uh about ten actually. So, if you remember in my older videos, we got this. I got my tank by these big uh, French doors. So the sun used to beam on the tank for the first few hours of the day. So these these fish used to get a. I don't know how many hours. I can't remember, but it, it'd be a lot. So it's, it's sunrise, and I usually don't have the lights actually turn off till about twelve at night. So it just goes to show it's. Um, 
I've always thought that that's uh, natural sunlight getting in your tank. People go, oh, it's going to give me allergies and all that sort of shit. It's, it's bullshit. If, if you've got, um, if you've got uh, good nutrient export and all that sort of stuff, nutrient control, you'll be all right. If you've got a good you got a good method for how you deal with the algae and stuff, you'll actually be fine, so. Figure that out. That's what to do. That's what to do. Change that to 11. That's it. That's it. You got it. Jobs are good, and so now we're just going to see what we want to do. So if I were to say about 8 o'clock... I want my whites to start winding down. So you want to put another set point, you know, wherever you want your uh, whites to start dialing down. Because you got lights like this, you want to utilize the uh, different levels of blues and stuff like that. So I'm going to put one there, a point at 8 p.m. And I'm not going to actually alter anything. I'm just putting that there because you need basically you need two to start ramping down on a separate doodah. So I don't want my whites to be on. If I take that, move that, 7:30. I'm making a right fucking mess of this. Night. So by 8:30, obviously this isn't very natural because um, I'm tailoring this to when I'm knocking about. So. You want to zero that, and while we're at it, we'll fuck the red off, because that's good for nothing. And green, we'll put that to about fucking 10%. And on these, we'll zero all three of them. Zero. <laughs> right, so that's, that's very basic, but that's basically going to give you your... Uh, daytime cycle here, and then all your blues, but now whites are just going to be in there, so that's going to be your like actinic section. And what you can do, if you see that little uh, play symbol in the bottom middle of the screen, you can press that, and that will give you a uh, quick look of <clears throat> how exactly the lighting cycle is going to be, so we do that. And we'll see how it looks. Those Aptasia are really stunningly impressive, aren't they? How majestic. Oh, that was a bit rough. <laughs> and back to normal. Right, so as you saw there, it does go through the uh, pre-made light cycle kind of quickly when, when you want to view what it looks like. Obviously, it's got to speed it up a bit because you want to see it quickly, but it could be a bit smoother, but you get you get the gist of it. Um, that's not how I'm going to leave it. I just wanted to quickly show you how you do it. Uh, it's easy enough anyway. A lot of it's just messing around and you figure things like that out. But obviously you don't want to, if you've got a tank full of stuff and you're going from one light to another, you probably don't want to be messing around. So, you know, there's, there's always, you can never, you can never have a bad thing if you're doing a bit of research, if you're doing enough research, so you don't fuck yourself over. I'm not going to leave my light cycle how I showed you just now, that's just something I wanted to do quick. Um... I might, if anyone's interested, I might show you what I actually end up changing it to. Uh, I might do the um, Saxby light cycle, or it won't be his exactly, it'll be a variation of my own, but doing the um, 10 minute peak intervals. So you'll have a 10 minute period where it's sort of the whites might spike a little bit to whatever you set the, for instance, right now they're at 60%. I'll probably bring that down to about 50, maybe 45. So you'll have it at 60%, and then it'll come down to about 40, just the whites back up, back down, back every 10 minutes, just because that's as short as you can go. The idea of that being is that it's almost replicating maybe clouds moving past the sun or whatever. Obviously, 
in nature or in these tanks even these corals aren't really um one in the constant max power light hitting them with no brakes it's kind of like how you think about um you get these pumps and everyone sort of realized oh they don't like direct flow 100 percent constantly i'm sure that well there are a couple of corals that do but generally speaking even sps they don't like full-on constant pelting with a with a flow so it's kind of the same with lights if you can have something that breaks them up a bit and doesn't quite hammer them constantly like that then it's not a bad thing i'm sure there, there is someone who come up with exactly how much they can really take but it's all going a bit far-fetched not far-fetched it's going a bit over the top now what i'm on about so maybe in the future i'll do a talk on that if it's worth me doing or if you want it or whatever so that's my first technically update of the year i wasn't planning on doing this yet i wanted to update the whole tank first and then and then do whatever else i'm gonna do but starting it off with the bullshit with these lights i just thought now's a good time to just load that into it so like comment and subscribe keep it wet <laughs>